here today with uh, Hervé Augustin, who is um, from IIA Champagne, and very privileged to have you. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you. Hi. And we've just tasted through this fantastic range of absolutely brilliant champagnes you can see here behind you. We've long been a fan of this particular Fine. champagne. So talk us through the different styles you have here. So here we have to start Zero Dosage, which is our new baby. It's the first time ever in Champagne. Uh, Champion House dares to release a brut with and without sugar added. So this is without and our brut machina is the same wine with some sugar. So it's funny and it's very interesting to uh, compare those and to test your own sensibility to sugar. And it's really interesting to see how a few grams of sugar do change completely the style of the wine. This is really the very first to be released in this, of this style. We were the very first to release from the same stock. Okay. Because today many houses are doing zero dosage or extra brit, but it's always a separate production. Mm. So this shows that our brit is of extreme quality because it can be shown without any dosage as well. And only with an extreme quality you can be without sugar, because sugar is like a cosmetic. Yes, okay. So, although these wines are very dry, having just tasted them, I have to say they're full of fruit. There's plenty of fruit there. Plenty of fruit flavour, plenty of ripeness too. So, of course, over here in England, we like our dry champagne. Champagne is generally pretty dry here anyway. So, don't be worried about the fact that it's, there's very little sugar in this. It's delightfully ripe, delicious champagne. And it does go along also very well with all seafood, oysters, raw fish and caviar. And how about further up the scale here? So here we have uh, some uh, fabulous Chardonnay based uh, champagne. For instance our Blanc de Blanc 2002 which is made from Grand Cru Chardonnay, Chardonnay being the white grapes of champagne. So from Le Menil, Cramont and Chuy. 2002 being a fantastic year for ripeness because it was Indian summer. That year. Then we have our Prestige Cuvée Perle d'Ayala, which is 80% same wine plus 20% Pinot Noir Grand Cru from AI. And on top of that, we use real cork during all the second fermentation, which, is, which does allow an exchange between air and wine and will produce a fantastic structure to this wine. So we can say that, and then we have rosés, and this is, our rosés are quite interesting because we produce rosé with a lot of Chardonnay. Normally rosé is 100% Pinot Noir or 80% Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, yes. but rarely with some Chardonnay. Here we have a majority of Chardonnay, 51% Chardonnay, the rest is Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, and it gives the wine fantastic lightness, elegance, finesse, and at uh, least has rosé with zero dosage, the first rosé without any dosage from the champagne houses. Uh, here we get even more Chardonnay, 53%, and Grand Cru Pinot Noir. So it's a, a very fine rosé for dining, when the first one is also more aperitif driven. That's a hell of a range, and we're taking on a number of these wines, so watch this space, do come in, um, they are excellent champagnes, and we'll be trying them against other champagnes as well, blinds, to check them against our own existing stock, but we're very pleased, and thank you very much, Herve, for coming along. And enjoy, but beware, this is a strong drug. <laughs> You've had it from the master. <laughs>